Peak energy is about, about getting to scale. If, if you really want to make the maximum impact, and we need to do this really fast, you need to build technologies that will get to scale as fast as possible and solve the really, really big problems. And one of those, the biggest problems we have is how do you electrify the grid? And we solved the generation problem with that with solar. It's already super, super cheap. The problem is it's intermittent. So we got to figure out how to store all that energy and do it really, really cheaply and do it in a way where we can scale up the supply chain for that extremely quickly without bottlenecks. And sodium is the right answer. Sodium ion is not a speculative technology. It is a proven one that is in the early days of its industrial journey. It is just at the beginning of its roadmap and it's going to get better and better and it's going to become more and more prevalent. That's true because of investments that are happening around the world and we view ourselves as the first domestic scale manufacturer of sodium ion technology and we think that there's an incredible opportunity to capture market share with it. We have a bold, big vision that requires uh, investors that are willing to step up in a big way to back it. We put together a team that has done this before that um, I think is the best team in the world to go after this problem. Uh, and we've got a, a great group of customers who are, who are partnering with us on pilots. And so the missing piece behind all this up until now was like, how are we going to fund uh, this massive ambition? We just closed a $55 million Series A round. Uh, pretty big round for a Series A, but uh, the, the company that we're trying to build is operating at scale. So it needs a lot of fuel, which ultimately turns into a lot of value. I kind of think of it as, we're like the Formula One car in the pit right now. People like to focus on raising money because it's flashy, it has a, has a big number associated with it. But honestly, it's really about just being at the gas station, putting gas in the, in the Formula One car. The fun part is now, as we get out into the race and actually use that fuel to build our first systems and then deliver them to customers next year, which is really where the rubber hits the road.